And we're back, happy cooking today. Here's your chef, Jay. We're gonna make another delicious recipe. We're gonna use this number four cone right here. So this is how we're gonna do this salad. Make sure that you put everything, the core especially, because this is where the enzymes are found to help you digest this part. So let's take a few, <clears throat> a few slices of this, and then we're gonna save the core for later when we change it to a different, uh, to a different cone. So this is what, how you want to chop it up really small. The smaller that you chop it up, the better it is. Now let's move it into the number two cone right here. And now take these delicious, fully loaded with enzymes, cores, and put them in here. A lot of times people throw them away and no wonder why they're suffering from different degenerative diseases because they're throwing away the very things that help them. Now let's use some celery. Celery is very good for selenium. It is actually loaded with sodium. It's very good for the bones. So the thing is with celery, a lot of times has that cellulose in there and it's very, very hard to, to digest. Some carrots. Carrots are loaded in beta carotene that helps you convert into vitamin A. Vitamin A is really good for the heart. And uh, now we're gonna use a little bit of a chunky method over here. This is the number three cone. So if you wanna add, say for example, some sort of sweetener, then we're gonna use apple instead. Make sure that all your apples that you buy, they are organic. So see, you can chop it up all the way to, all the way to the core without worrying. In fact, you can put the seeds in there. Seeds are really good for controlling parasites. So let's use that. And now let's change it again. We're gonna use the number four cone over here. And then we're gonna add some uh, cucumber. So take a half a cucumber over here and do the slices. Look at that, tick, tick, tick. And so if you wanna add some lemon rind, use the number one cone. Quinoa. Okay, wow, that smells so delicious. Now, one of the things is with lemons, make sure that you eat it closest to the pith because closest to the pith is where the most vitamin C is found. All the delicious juice right from there, all the way down to the pith where the most important valuable vitamin C is there. So take it right out to take the second one. And this is basically your salad dressing. Let's add a little bit of orange rind Oranges are really good and high in fiber. The only thing is when you eat it as a juice, you lose a lot of it. And as well, one of the things that I found out is that the vitamin C is not so much on the inside. The inside is the fiber, but the vitamin C is the closest to the pith. So I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna chop up some mint. And I have some mint over here from my garden. This is mint and oregano in there. As I told you earlier, oregano is nice uh, for uh, preserving the food, antibacterial, antifungal. Okay, just chop up a bit. And just roughly throw it in there. Make this beautiful rainbow of colors. And the mint gives it that delicious, um, very cool type of tasting. And what we're gonna do is no need to add any salt, no need to add any sugar. This is basically already loaded as it is. And so now what we do is, we're gonna take a little, a little chunk over here, and I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna try it, not on, but I'll try it myself, see how good it is. And if you wanna taste it, you're gonna have to come to one of my classes or invest in Salamaster.